Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, 10% Science Hard Mode. Now there, real, there really wasn't much progress uh, for, for the, the game in this, in, this, uh, in this playthrough, but I learned a lot from a bunch of experimentations with the different types of designs and the parts that were being unlocked. One of the new parts that we unlocked was the larger fin that can also withstand greater heat. I took our beloved little orange science vessel, or, or aircraft, and tried to use this new fin technology with it. I learned very quickly that you can't actually stack the fins on top of the fins. The fins are somewhat... they, they, they don't have a way to put anything on them, which is kind of weird compared to their smaller counterpart. So what you're saying, the fins are finicky? I knew it was a long shot because of the fact that there was extremely limited control when it came to these fins. The only control that I had was from the vertical thrusts, or not the vertical, you know, the, the vectoring thrust from the rocket engine as well as the reaction wheel in the command pod. Sadly, test after test after test after test after test would prove my theory that while these fins do create a ton of lift, they have, uh, well, the control is very little. Well, technically, there's no freaking control, but you know what I mean. Even with the vectoring of the engines and the reaction wheel from the command pod, there's nothing. Now, it's not shown here, but I did a test where there's two, I put two rocket engines or two fuselages on either side in order to get like a dual reaction with the, ver uh, with the uh, vectoring thrust. And while it does slightly better, as soon as you lose that thrust, you start spinning out of control. And not just spinning out of control, sometimes you just take a freaking nosedive. I tried everything, but really there is very little to, to no control. I can hear in the comments now, but Veos, you need to have the center of mass further up. That's all you need. So what happens is, is that if you have the center of mass too far up, then you lose complete control and you nosedive just like a dart. And of course, if the center of mass is behind the center of lift, it flips. I was trying to find a unique balance to where this thing could be controlled with only the reaction wheel in the command pod and the thrust vectoring of the rocket engine. Sadly, I did never found this sweet spot. I got close to it, but I never found it. I'm not saying it's not impossible, but it's going to take a very long time to find that sweet spot for that particular design of craft, and I just don't have it in me. At least not right now. Much better for us to just unlock Elevons and be done with it. It was a shot in the dark and I wanted to test everything out before before saying no this isn't going to work. I'm the kind of person that turns every stone. Even if the answer is extremely obvious that this shit ain't going to work. I tried our new decoupler technology or side decoupler technology only to find out that there is no crossfeed with the side decouplers. Unlike the inline decouplers that do have crossfeed enabled or disabled, the side decouplers do not have any crossfeed whatsoever. So in order to have drop tanks, you would need to have some sort of fuel line being able to feed the drop tank to the actual engine. Or unlock some sort of building or something of that nature that allows you to do this remotely without needing the fuel tank or the, the fuel line. Which was a real shame because I kind of wanted to take the original orange uh, the science doom slayer as i guess it's now now named and be able to put cool little silver drop tanks on it so it can expand its its range of effectiveness now yes i can still use the inline uh, decoupler which has the cross feed fuel it's just it, you got a 50 50 chance of cutting clean from it or blowing up i really can't wait until we unlock the fins that that have the built-in elvon on them that's going to be great. Or hell, I'll take a wing with an L on it. Fuck it. I think when we unlock actual aerodynamics when it comes to that kind of thing, those kind of parts, it's going to really, really launch us forward in gathering science around Kerbin. Now, of course, with all these tests means that I burned through a little bit of cash. So I had to get that money back. And right now, our cash cow is the Orion. Orion 7 SSTO Passenger Transport. It only takes maybe a handful of launches and we can get 100k easy. However, I had fins now, and high temperature fins as well. So I wanted the Orion to kind of mimic a starship-like feel or approach. I was very pleasantly surprised by how well it actually worked.
Now for right now, during re-entry or after re-entry, it does flip over and go ass in first. Even though in the space plane hangar it has every single indication that the center of mass is way ahead of the center of lift even when it's empty. And it still flips over on its ass, not quite sure how that's working. Unless I'm getting some sort of false reading. But eventually I'll figure it out and get it just right so that after it comes in, the nose can pitch down and it can glide nicely to its destination, maybe even have some sort of control. It does look pretty sweet with those little fins on the side, I, I gotta give it that. I know it seems like all this happened in less than an hour, but it took about five hours for all this shit. Once I build up enough revenue, I can actually start building something that can actually maybe go to the moon. If we can unlock that moon science, that's gonna fucking kill it. Especially EVA. Holy crap. We still have plenty of spots EVA wise that we can get from Kerbin, but that's for a later date. EVA, what I mean by EVA of course is orbital EVA. But anyway, until then, if you liked this video, please leave a like. And if you loved it, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, you get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. We also have that bell notification. If it works, if it doesn't, who knows who gives a shit. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. I'm thinking that the little orange, uh, our little orange science doomslayer, <laughs> as we so lovingly called it a few videos ago, I think the reason why it works so well is because the little fins don't generate that much lift and so it's easier to control. That's just a, an idea. I'm not sure if it actually is what's going on. So maybe the lift is the problem. It's, it, maybe it's too much lift. Too much lift and therefore it doesn't have that much control over it. I'm almost positive that's what it is. I don't know. We'll find out.